Good evening, and this is another episode of NCSO, and we're continuing on with the uh, with this game here that I can't remember the freaking name of, Supreme League of Patriots or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Okay, um, and I think I need to go in here. Sam is waiting to leave. It would be rude to keep her waiting. It's not the rudest thing you've ever wanted to do to her. Mel, you promised you wouldn't discuss that in front of her. Mm, okay. Speak then. Can we hurry this up, boys? I really need to get moving. Okay. Just, well, just this say everything. Only take a minute. Just say everything. As for a date. Hey, Sam. How about you let me buy you a drink after work? No, I'm just going to go home, soak in a warm bath, and then watch a feel-good movie. Oh, we watched one of those last night. This hot babe had her washing machine break down, and this plumber, he had the biggest... No, mate, that's not what she means by a feel-good movie. Uh, I'm talking about Wholesome together? Entertainment. A chick flick. Hold up. Oh, we tried to get one of those. But the ones with just chicks are always the first ones rented out. No, 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 hold up, hold up, man. Mel and him, they both watch the porn together. It's what, it's what about, right? Is that what they said? I, I mean, I'm not against guys watching porn. I, I'm just saying, uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. Um... I mean, they're best friends, so why not, right? Yeah, why not, right? Have you ever dated a superhero? <sighs> I had a few dates with Captain Lightning. Is it true he can run ten times faster than a normal man? <laughs> oh, he does everything ten times faster than a normal man. Ooh, okay. Ouch. Yes. Uh, okay, then. Okay. So she's like... Dating, uh, the Flash, right? Okay. So you said on the phone you want us to transcribe some interviews? Yes, it shouldn't take more than an hour at the most. Why don't you shove brooms up our asses? We could sweep up while we work. What's up with all these sexual no, references? Don't exaggerate. Excuse me. You could fit a carpet shampoo up yours anyway. Oh, oh boy. I mean, they do watch porn together. I mean, why not, right? Why not? Won't they just make a porn together? How about that one? And just do what they just said right there. That'd be great, right? What the hell? Okay. That'd be disgusting, man. It'd be the worst thing I've ever seen. Okay. Even though I wouldn't want to see it, you know, I, I'm, I'm not like that, right? Okay, uh, anyway, um... Where are the interviews? Yeah. They're on SD cards. There are two on my desk, but the third one was needed for a camera. The camera has subsequently... gone missing. Oh, so we're gonna have to find it. That's convenient. When Internal Affairs is asked to investigate allegations of police brutality, the recording of the interview is nowhere to be found. For God's sake, Melvin, not everything is a conspiracy. Someone probably just forgot to put it back when they finished with it. So you just want the interviews processed on the workstation and transcribed into text? Yeah, a few things came up in the interviews that I'd like to run against our databases. It's probably nothing, but it doesn't hurt to try. Especially when someone else is doing all the donkey work. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, pretty much, uh, did everything. We understand what we have to do. You can take off now. Yeah. Jeez. What was that sound? All the best to your sister. Huh? Oh, right. Thanks, guys. Okay, so anyway, okay, so the final one would be in there. Uh, so can we just go ahead and transcribe this one card then?
Okay, watch. What the hell? What's wrong with my freaking mouth? Okay. I was going to say walk slow. Ugh. I almost said watches. Or watch or something. I don't know. Okay. What's wrong with the computer? The heck? Use. Mill, do you mind if I use your computer? It's his? Do you remember the last him. time I let you use my workstation? When I got back on it, I had replacement cursors, toolbars for everything from the Vienna Riding School to the cast of Avenue Q, and a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh. If I want a purple gorilla trying to make me laugh, I'll ask you to put the costume back on again. Your computer looked so boring. If you want to use the computer, just be specific about what you want to process and I'll do it for you. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, examine? It's my in-tray. It's where all the mail addressed uh. to the system's administrator gets put. Okay. After the mailroom boy opens anything which looks like money and stamps on anything which looks high-tech. I expect it's because he knows I'm onto his secret. He's a covert operative for the CIA, and he's intercepting important communications for the suits back at Langley. Yeah, either that or he knows it was you who backed the forklift into his brand new Verano. Come on, man, you guys I talk... I guess that's also possible. These guys talk so much, man. Jeez. Um, speak. Let's speak with him. Maybe... Mel, do you have a minute? Yeah. What are we doing here? I uh, need help. I need help. Um, that's all. Thanks, Mel. That's all the help I need. <laughs> if you say so. Okay, um, that was weird. Talk to you later. Yeah. Um, hmm. So we can't use this thing. Oh, I can't use it. Oh, great. So what's in here, then? That's strange. This box isn't meant to be here. How can you know that? I've memorized the location of every box in this room. Dude, that's a bit sad. I don't have much choice. A magical fairy keeps leaving half-eaten cream-filled sponge cakes in the boxes on my shelves. Hmm. If I don't find them, they go off and the whole room is full of fumes. Really? <laughs> Imagine that. That's probably him, isn't it? Okay, take. Shall I have a look and see what's in yes. this box you don't recognize? Yeah. Please do. If it turns out to be another foxhound operative sneaking into the building, the boss will have my guts for garters. Okay. Here we go. Oh, we got no the camera. No special ops, guys. But there is a camera and a whole bunch of file folders. It's probably that idiot Profarci. He keeps mistaking my office for the evidence locker. Okay, we saw we so got the camera. This could be that camera that Sam said yeah. had gone missing. Of course it is. It could well be. I don't know why they keep Profarci on. He only ever appears in the office briefly and then he's gone again. Yes. Yet somehow he still manages to screw everybody else's work up. One of these days, I'll frame him for taking kickbacks just to get rid of him. Uh, okay, so now we've got the camera. Meld. Uh, yeah. I need help. That's all. Thanks. Thanks, Mel. <laughs> yes. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay. So now we have the camera, right? This is a pretty nice camera. I wonder if anyone would notice if it went missing. No, they wouldn't. Haven't you half inched enough this month? Someone's going to realize you're pilfering that antique card table in the chief's private office sooner or later. How did you know I was working on pinching that? One of the legs has been sawn off. I thought they'd notice if I took the whole thing at once. Hey, there's an SD card in here. It could be the one Sam wanted us to transcribe. Yes. Terrific. Whip it out, then. Okay, whip what out? Come on, now. 
Come on, Mel. It's not time for that. It's not time for anything like that. You gotta do this. Let's, let's do this. Um, we got the SD card out, right? No? Huh. Uh, use it? Mel, do you mind if I... Do you remember the last... Uh... You're... If you want to use the computer, just be specific about what you want to process, and I'll do it for you. Fine. Then let's process this thing. Mel, do you have a minute? Uh... What? I need help. I... What? Seriously? If Come on. Say... Come on, man. Talk... Huh. I got the I got the thing, right? Uh use. Do you think this is the SD card Sam wanted us to find? If it isn't, this has been a pretty cruel red herring. The card is jammed in here pretty tight. I can't seem to pull it out. Push, uh... don't pull. All right, all right. Jeez, you sound like Lucy. I always figured she'd be a bossy cow. Oh, my back. Oh, You're there not we go. wrong, bud. She never let up. <sighs> let me take my hose off first. Are you sure it's supposed to be that color? What the hell are you doing back there? Aha! I got the card out. You were right. I was supposed to push instead of pull. I'll bet that's a great relief to Lucy. I don't know about you guys, but that sounded really dirty to me. Um, I, I don't, I don't know why, man. Sometimes it's point-click games. They say stuff. Okay, I need to get my freaking mind out of the gutter, man. Seriously. Okay, let's use this thing. This transcription software could have lots of other applications, don't you think? Like what? Subtitles for films and TV. Yeah, but think bigger. You could get it to transcribe football matches, and then you wouldn't have to pay commentators. No, see, it only transcribes what people say. Audio recognition. It can't describe what's happening in the video, you pillock. Even if it could recognize what was happening and somehow describe it, it would just be a dull, monotone voice describing everything in tedious detail. So only slightly better than Jim Buck. Uh, fair point. Is it finished transcribing? No, but it doesn't need any more human intervention. When Sam comes back into the office, the results will be waiting for her. Alright, I think this is uh, it for the uh, for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for watching. This was another episode of NCSO. Peace out.